Kyogo will he once again be the top goal scorer in the Scottish Premiership this season or will he head down south to replace Harry Kane welcome back guys to Fog Football and the speculation is on the race for Kyogo is back on and at the moment it's a one horse race and that horse is Tottenham they're galloping towards their man but will they get him. We know at the start of the season when Ange went to Spurs, he was going to probably raid Celtic. It, it didn't really happen though. We were expecting him to come in, take some Celtic players, maybe take a couple. Some people were saying that Kyogo wasn't good enough for that level, but they feud others such as Hitati, Yota, maybe even Carter Fickers, possibly O'Reilly. People like that, they thought would be the ones to go, but Ange decided he wasn't going to take any of them and then Kyogo signed a new deal, we had Maida sign a new deal, and all the players, well, Hitati did not sign a new deal, but still, the, the link between Hitati and Spurs kind of just died down, so I think we were led to believe that Ange Postacoglu wasn't going to sign any of his former Celtic players, maybe he wanted a fresh start, maybe he didn't think they were good enough for Spurs, but now, with Harry Kane, Almost officially away. It's pretty much a done deal at this point. He will be leaving. He will be joining Bayern Munich. Ange Postacoglu all of a sudden needs a striker. He needs someone to come in and replace Harry Kane. And that someone could be Kyogo. Is Kyogo untested at a big league? Of course. But that doesn't necessarily mean that he can't cut it in a big league. He just hasn't had that opportunity yet. Same thing with Ange Postacoglu. When he came to Scotland, a lot of people were critical of the move. They thought that Celtic were signing a nobody. They didn't want him at the club. And they bashed him for being a small-time manager that was managing, basically, in the Asian leagues. And now he's went to Celtic and he's won five out of six trebles. And now he's going to Spurs and the same thing's happening. Premier League fans, Spurs fans are going, well, he's not good enough. What's he done apart from manage Celtic? But the only way to find out if someone's good enough or not is to give them a chance. And I genuinely believe that Kyogo would be good enough for Spurs. I think he could be their main man. I think he could match what Harry Kane was doing in the goal department. I, I, de I definitely believe that. Now, Harry Kane's on penalties. We don't know if Kyogo would be taking penalties. But in terms of goals from open play, with Kyogo's movement, I think the guy would be great in the Premier League. So, for me, it's a, it's a good deal for Ange Postacoglu. They will get him relatively cheap. If they go and try and sign a striker in the European market to replace Kane, then you're probably talking about, what, 60, 70, 80 million to get anyone half decent to the level of Kane. Whereas for Kyogo, I mean, based on what Celtic sold Jota for, he had a new five-year deal. He was only one year into that. Kyogo's just signed a new four-year deal. I reckon with Kyogo being four years older than Jota, Jota going for 25. I don't think you'd get more than 25 for Kyogo. In fact, maybe you would get less. It's all right. People saying, oh, I want 50 for Kyogo, but I'm not sure that's how it works, okay? I'm not too sure. If, if Yota only went for 25, I'm not sure you'd get more for Kyogo. And with that new four-year deal, does that rule him out of moving to Spurs? I would say it makes it less likely to happen, especially in this transfer window. But does that mean he's not going to go? I'm not entirely sure. I think we could see Kyogo at Spurs, maybe, maybe even in January. I don't know if it's going to happen right now, but, you know, I think it's, it's a bad deal for Celtic, they don't want to lose Kyogo, they don't want to lose him full stock because he's a great striker, but with the season already started, they, they, won't want to have, they won't want to lose Kyogo and have to replace him, have to try and find a striker that's up to his level, because if they replace Kyogo, they need to bring someone in, because oh, I don't think it's at that level, and you wouldn't want to rely on oh, I don't think you'd want to be going into the Champions League, you wouldn't want to be going into a Premier League fight, trying to take the title away from the Rangers again, you wouldn't want to do that with uh, O up front as your main man. I don't think a lot of Celtic fans would like the prospect of O being the man to rely on up front. But let's look at what the ex-Chelsea player Pat Nevin thinks. Former Scotland international Nevin believes that Celtic forward Kyogo Furuhashi would be the perfect fit in North London and thinks that if Tottenham come calling that he will go. Speaking to the Sporting Post... Pat Nevin said the following, quote, 
If Kyogo left, it would break Celtic's hearts. He's just signed a new deal, which is good. However, if the Premier League comes calling, it will be hard to turn it down. The obvious place for him to go there would be Spurs. If Harry Kane goes, they will need someone who can link up play and as a natural goal scorer, Ange Postacoglu would have worked with him before so he will know all about him. Uh, Kane is a world class player while Kyogo would still have to show that in a top league. Kyogo is not the same level as Kane. He is slighter than him. If you give Kyogo the chance to score goals though, he will score and Ange will know that. I would like to keep seeing him in Scotland, but I would not be shocked if he went to Spurs, end of quote. So, Pat Nevin, believing that there's a good chance here that we could see Kyogo Furuhashi in a Spurs shirt. I'm just not too sure. It's not often you see a player sign a four-year deal then leave in that transfer window. Uh, that does not really happen. I think that he'll be. I think he'll stay at Celtic. If he didn't sign that four-year deal, then I would not be. I, I would think he'd be away. He'd probably be away already, to be honest. I think Andrew would have signed him. But with the four-year deal, it's going to be hard to see Kyogo not stay at Celtic for at least this season. I, I'd be shocked, to be honest, if he isn't a Celtic player come the end of the transfer window in uh, September 1st. So, yeah. That's it, guys. Looks like Kane is away to Bayern. Uh, Tottenham do need to get a replacement. In. And he hasn't really made that many signings since going to Spurs. I kind of expect him to be going all out, but at the moment, it's not really happened. So maybe this deal will happen. Maybe Ange will realise he needs to get players in fast, and Kyogo might be one of them. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts down below. If you're a Celtic fan, are you worried about losing Kyogo to Tottenham? And if you're not a Celtic fan, or if you are a Celtic fan, do you believe that Kyogo's good enough for Tottenham? Is he good enough for the Premier League? Can he replace Harry Kane? Let us know in the comments down below. We'll catch you in the next one. Until then, though, peace.